Okay, well the controls and the timer are all mounted, the wiring's in. That all works. The reset buttons work. So, that's ready. Now, I had to reuse the detergent dispenser from the insincorator because the one from the KitchenAid the screws were rusted and it was so bad and it's actually even cracked where the screw screws are because the screws were so rusted you can see there that they cracked the housing and I couldn't even get it to basically the screws wouldn't even hold so uh, we're just going to end up having the single cycle and it'll end up when it runs it'll do a pre-wash then a rinse then a the main wash instead of a pre-rinse and then the pre-wash so that's not that big of a deal because I just used this dishwasher as a parts parts washer anyway so uh, time to wire everything else up okay everything's in hooked up except for um, the heating element and the rinse aid dispenser is not hooked up yet but I just want to see if it works so let's give it a shot um, Oh, I see what the problem is. That little hole right there. There's supposed to be a little rubber bumper in there that pushes in the safety switch. So let's take that off the other one and give it... Okay, got the little bumper installed. It presses in the safety switch. Now let's try it. Okay, let's hit cancel. Yeah, it looks like it works. Here we go. Now, time to put a little bit of water in it and put the racks back in it and see if it leaks or not. Hopefully not. Okay, well, got it all together. Put some epoxy over the spots that are chipped in the back there you can't see through the plastic but it's there so let's try it out and see if it works
soap in there. Hmm, interesting. Well, okay, cancel. That's enough to show that it's working. And it drains. And I don't have my flashlight, but let's see if we can look under there and no leaks. So it looks like this was a success. And there we go.